three newly installed syringe disposal boxes placed in three Louisville Metro parks. Hello everyone, it's our top story right here on the WHS 1119. I'm Doug Prophet. They are located in Shelby, Boone Square and Portland Park. It's to cut the number of needles being thrown in public areas, harming people who find them. WHS 1119's Bobby McSwine and photojournalist Ian Hardwit checked in with neighbors who say the box might help some, but the city has a bigger problem with drug use. When you think of a park, you might envision kids having fun, being safe. But for some in the Portland neighborhood, what comes to mind is the complete opposite. I'm tired. I'm tired of not being able to let the kids come out and play, worry about something to happen to them, letting your animals come out and walk, stepping on needles. Needles. Lynn King says she's found them all over the neighborhood, even left in her open truck bed. She wants to remain anonymous, but showed us the alley behind her home. They're taking these little side alleys they're using and leaving their needles in their fentanyl. Which she says is a haven to many people who shoot up drugs. An armband King suspects was used to aid in the process, still on the ground. This is ridiculous. Now, nearby Boone Square Park is one of three Louisville parks newly equipped with a syringe disposal box. Officials hope they will curb the number of needles left on the ground. Monday, Metro Parks made the announcement. It's like a mailbox, you put it in. Metro Council member Donna Purvis, who represents Portland on Monday, said it's needed. I've listened to my constituents be concerned as they bring their children to play in these uh, neighborhood parks and been exposed to the dangers of, of hypodermic needles. Earlier this week, some people told us they feel these boxes encourage drug use. King disagrees. She says drug use was a problem in the community before these boxes and says now at least there's a safe way to dispose of syringes. Another neighbor, who also wants to be anonymous, says she knows the danger all too well. So before we let our kids go over here to this park, we got to literally do a safety check because it's that bad. She says her young daughter's friend actually found and picked up a syringe. She smacked it out the little girl's hand and came right on to me to tell me. Both neighbors say the boxes aren't a cure-all. They say more signage is needed to alert people to the boxes, and the root of the problem has to be addressed, the value of drugs in their neighborhood. It was a waste of time. I don't think it out. We need more boots on the ground. And we need more neighbors speaking up. Diabetics and those with other health conditions can also use the boxes. In Louisville, Bobby McSwine, the WHAS 1119, on your side.